you spoke about having equity in the house and pulling it out about three months later, six months later? About six months later. $40,000? Uh, yeah, because I, I purchased a property below, below market. Mm -hmm. So um, that's one of the practices that I've always, and I still, you know, I've never purchased anything at retail. So whenever I'm going into a property, I always make sure that there's equity built in. So if the property is worth $150,000, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to pay no more than $110,000 $110, for it. You know, just in case there's a correction or in the market where, where the prices come down, that I'm never underwater. Got you. What'd you do with the equity? Of, I bought the house next door. Really? Yeah, so um, I ended up getting the two houses right next to each other. So these, you're still in Queens at this point? I'm still in Queens. Nice. So you're moving now. I'm moving. I'm, I'm working at Verizon. I'm, I'm doing, um, I'm doing like 80 hours a week at Verizon. Just, just like building bank. Cause every time, every time I get enough for another down payment, I'm flipping that. I'm putting that into another property. When did you decide? I'll go a different way. When did you stop working at Verizon and why? Um, I stopped working at Verizon in, on, I think it's June 21st, 19, no, excuse me, 2005. June 21st, 2005. Yeah, I know that. Why date. do you remember that date? Because I have the termination letter on my, <laughs> on my wall. Because that's the day that they terminated me. So yeah. you were fired? I was basically, yeah. Why? Um, the truth? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the truth. The truth was, I was I was feeling myself. You know, I was feeling myself. I was making I was making money. I was making a lot more money doing real estate than I was working at Verizon, and um, I was letting my boss know it every every chance I got. <laughs> you know, um, I I remember um, true story. I remember. He um, he had gotten like a, a C class, a C class Benz or something like that, and I, I came in one day with my um, I had like brand new CLK convertible, and I looked over at him. I was like, "Do those things even got leather?" <laughs> <laughs> you hit him with the Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> What's know? the difference between the five point <laughs> oh? <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, I was feeling myself, um, and but. It was kind of, you know, I had outgrown the place anyway. And um, truth be told, if they never fired me, I'd probably still be there. Really? Day. Yeah, because it's easy money. It was easy money. You know, it was easy money. I wasn't, I wasn't working hard for it. But um, it's the best thing that they ever did to me it was to, to fire me. And truth be told, when they fired me, I sent everybody like a bottle of champagne, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Um, telling them thank you for everything that they, they've done to me, done for me. Um, even, even the guy who fired me, I sent him a bottle. Okay, Jude, that was a boss move. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, during that time, there was this property at 184 Madison Street that I was working on. Um, I was, I think I was making about $110,000 working at Verizon a year, and I ended up flipping that property. I, I Which property? The one on Madison? The, the one on Madison. While, you know, like, I had started the process while I was working at Verizon, and by the time I was fired and I flipped that property, uh, I think I made like $440,000 in like three or four months on that deal. And I was so nervous, you know, I was a little nervous about about um, losing my job, but here I am, you know, quadrupled my salary in three months. Three months. You know, so um, it, it showed me that there was life after Verizon, you know. You know, and again, for anybody who's in the room, I always recommend start a business while you are working at a business. But as fearful, listen to what he said. He's making more money at real estate, but he probably would have never left. It was easy money, and sometimes it is fearful to jump out there on your own. Becoming an entrepreneur, that, that, that's scary. It is extremely scary because there's no net. You provide your own income. 
but you'll always know that it's time to leave. For any of you guys who are thinking about when do I leave, you leave when you either match or you exceed your salary. That's when you know I can do this. It's time for me to step out on my own. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.